Thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be over me testing out some new products. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I do have some new to the market makeup, but for the most part of it, a lot of these are gonna be new to me. And I'll have timestamps below if you want to just kind of skip to the particular product that you want to see. I'll always try to have those in my videos. All right, so first I wanna start off with what I feel is the star of the show and this little baby was gifted to me by one of my bestest bestest friends here on the YT Nisi J and she gifted me the Naked Urban Decay Wild West palette and I wanted this palette so bad I was talking to her she was like what do you think about it do you want it I was like yes 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 please yes ma'am <laughs> so anyway she sent me this palette and I use this palette to create the look that I have on now and here is the color story right here these shades are so pretty and I have all of their Naked palettes. I think that the Naked palettes are really easy, simple to use. They're not complicated. You don't have to do a lot of tricks. You don't have to know the right eyeshadow base to use. Uh, in my opinion, just really good for that everyday type of person that just wants a simple palette that they can, you know, have, that they know that when they get ready to do a look, um, it's gonna go on and they don't have to fuss and fight. Well, anyway, you all know the drill. So anyway, I have that on my eyes. I also use the new Beauty Blender powder and this is the new Bounce powder and this powder is so, so pretty. I really like it. I really like all of their complexion products. I have their foundation, which I absolutely love. I have the concealer, which I absolutely love. I have their setting spray, which I absolutely love. But can you believe it? I don't have the actual Beauty Blender because I'm like a, a $20 Beauty Blender, maybe I'll one day I'll probably cave in and buy it but until then um, the shade that I have it in is nutmeg and I love it I think that it goes well with the foundation that I used and I think that uh, it pretty much helped pull it all together so if you're on the lookout for a powder or a new powder you might want to check this one out now this next one is new to me this one is the Natasha Denona trans matte foundation now initially um, when I applied this foundation and you'll see it in the clip it does come across as orange ashy you know everything just just not quite right with it what I do like about this particular foundation is I'd like the fact that it is very fluid watery um, I really like thin foundations I think that they look best on my skin tone I also like the fact that you don't have to set it even though I did use the powder but I use this powder are strictly for you know video purposes so you could see how it works but um, it does have a bit of a scent which I'm not too happy about but I can definitely get over but I do like how it dries down so if you're looking for a uh, foundation that you don't have to set you might want to try this one and don't let the fact that it says matte scare you away because it doesn't feel like the traditional kind of matte to where it just kind of sucks the life right out of your skin and you just feel dehydrated I don't I didn't personally get that from this foundation. I also used four uh, milk makeup products. I used the matte bronzer. This is it right here. And you know, you're supposed to apply the bronzer, you know, directly onto the skin, but I used a brush. I do like the consistency of it. I feel as though in person, it kind of reads a little bit more cool tone as opposed to what you all may be seeing in the camera. You can definitely, you can definitely let me know what you think about it. This is the type of formula where you don't have to set it either you know there are some creams that are going to come across more emollient more uh slippery more uh it, to where you clearly have to set it this particular product not so much same with the lip and the cheek uh, blush uh, when I applied it both of these products pretty much just gave a natural glow which if I was on the go if I was a person on the go I wouldn't mind you know just really applying this kind of rubbing it in the cheek product and just kind of rubbing it in and going especially if I have dry skin I actually love the consistency of these two products now I also have the flex concealer and right up under my eyes like right up under there I didn't have to set it and I feel as though 
it, from what I can see, I don't get any, I don't have any egregious uh, creasing or um, anything like that going on. Now I did kind of lightly set all over the face with this powder, but as far as directly up under my eyes, I didn't and I actually like it. Now this is a, a thicker, drier, formula and that's a lot of the reason why I didn't want to go in with a powder you know on top of a product that was already kind of on the stiff side so that's just something to be made aware of that this isn't a, a very emollient uh, loose type of formula right, I do have a flex highlighter by milk and I can't see the shade I'll, I'll put it down in the uh, comments but here it is right here I do have that on it's just ooh, so 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 pretty um, there it is right there. Really, really pretty. Next, I do have on some 3D Ming eyelashes. These are swinging, swinging hair. These are some eyelashes from Amazon. I have these on now and I thought that they were pretty. They are new to me as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the look. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these products and if you've tried it, how you like it. I'd love to hear about it, okay? All right. All right, so on to the demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this baby right here. This is the Naked Urban Decay Wild West. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this party started. As soon as I saw this palette on the YT, had to have it, knew I liked it. I'm gonna use this blue right here. I'm kind of a fan of Urban Decay's eyeshadows only because they're like super easy and simple to use, especially if you're looking for a palette where you can just kind of pick it up, do your look, and be out the door. Um, I use this palette a lot when my husband and I go out on little dates, you know, in the daytime, during the day, you know, I can pick it up, get a good look in, and be out the door. So I'm going to work on this side first, and then I'll do this eye off camera. This blue, this teal blue is to me going on beautifully and I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit more just a little bit and to me this palette could also be good like for a spring palette because you have the teal you've got the kind of silver slash gun y type of shade in it so anyway all I'm doing is just kind of blending that out so do y'all see how quickly and easily that's coming together I'm gonna add a little bit more on my lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a clean brush and just kind of blend that out. That blew out a little bit more at the top. All right, and then for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna use this shade right here. Just gonna add that right up here, just a little bit. Then we'll go back in with that um, previous brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this teal blue right here. And I'm gonna place that right here on the inner part of the eye or the middle part. And this appears to be going on nicely. I haven't wet the brush or anything. And then for the inner eye right here, I'm gonna use this shade right here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go back in a little bit with the blue, blend those shades in together. And it looks like a silver from where I'm sitting, but in the pan, this shade right here, it doesn't look like a silver, so. Don't you know? All right, so I'm going to quickly just go in right here and softly blend that together. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Really simple, quick, and kind of a no fuss type of look. I'm going to go ahead and add some liner. And after I finish with the liner, I'm gonna go ahead do this side, apply my lashes, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with the eyes done. And now we're gonna move into this foundation that I got. And this is the, I don't have on my glasses. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen. This is it. 
and this is the shade that I have it in. So it is on the waterier, little water, watery. It is on the watery side, and you do get a pump, and it's like super watery. See how fast that's going down, and immediately it looks to have like orangey, orange undertone. At least that's how it's looking in person. So. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. So I do like the fact of how thin it is. I tend to be a little bit more biased towards foundations that are thinner because I feel as though they just kind of look better on my skin. All right, so I got all of this applied and I feel as though the shade is too light, but we're, we're gonna continue to work with that. As far as it being matte, it doesn't feel like a traditional matte to where, you know, it sucks the life out of your skin. It just feels like a type of foundation where you don't have to set it. So I'm gonna move on to this Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. Comes in a package like this. And I'm just gonna unscrew it. Here it is right here. And instead of just taking it and applying it like that, which I know that that's the whole purpose and then putting it in a package like this. I'm just gonna use a brush and get it on my brush. And this is just a stippling brush. And I'm gonna add it up here. And immediately I would have thought that this was gonna be a little bit deeper than this. And now that I have it on, it kind of feels like, or it looks, it's looking like more of a cool tone brown. All right, so now that I have that done, I'm gonna go in next with the Milk Makeup Concealer. I'll let you all know which one that this is, but it's got a little dope for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this here. comes in a package like this and again I'm just going to use a stippling brush to get that on to apply this and, and I'm just going to apply it oh it smells good <laughs> and it looks like it's very light minimal coverage because I feel like I have a lot on my brush yeah so I'm not gonna really overdo it. I'll leave it at that. I'm gonna use, okay, let's go in with the um, powder, and this is the Beauty Blender powder. This is it right here. Okay, and this is the shade. I hope that's focusing. And it looks so cute on the inside. When you first open it up, it does have a little cover on it. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. And this is what it looks like. And you open it up. So I'm going to take a clean brush. Pretty. I think it looks pretty. Now I'm trying to debate on whether or not I want to put some powder up under my eyes to set that concealer. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just kind of really depends on the concealer. And I think I'm just going to just stick with what I have. All right, so the last thing that I have that's new is this Flex highlighter. Comes in a package like this. And I don't know if this shade is going to be too light. It's really nice packaging. Here's the shade. So, let's see. This shade, this is just a physician's formula liquid lipstick. And this guy, yeah, I'll use this one. Okay, I think this is it. This is the final look using all of the new products I picked up. Let me know, have you tried any of these products? If so, let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think about them. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, snitches.